y'all. Welcome to fourth grade, chapter 11, lesson one. We're going to go ahead and get started. We want us to tell what fraction of the circle it's shaded. Okay, pretty easy, okay? This is going to be a half, right? Cut the circle right in half, okay? This one, the whole circle is shaded. So if we were to do a fraction, we would put one over one, but we could just put one, okay? On the next part, it wants us to tell whether the angle shown is a quarter, a half, or three quarters, okay? Or, oh, or a whole one, okay? So, that way, just turning about a half, okay? And when it's going, it says it wants to know clockwise or counterclockwise, okay? So, clockwise goes in order of the number. So, we would have a one, two, three, four, okay? So, they would keep going this way, okay? Going the other way is called counterclockwise. You can put counterclockwise if you want. I'm just going to put counter for the interest of time. Okay. So this way, it looks like it's a quarter, just like this one. It's only a triangle of it. And it's going in the order of the, where the numbers would be. So it's going to be clockwise. Okay, you guys go ahead and do number six. We're going to go ahead and do number seven. Okay, it says, shall we exercise for 15 minutes? Describe the turn the minute hand made. Well, the minute hand went from the 12 to the three. Okay, so it made a quarter turn. It turned a quarter of the way. So one quarter turn. And it went according to the numbers, so it's clockwise. Okay? All right. Mari took 30 minutes to finish lunch. Describe the turn the minute hand made. Well, it went from that 12 down to the 6. 12 to 6. So it went halfway around the circle. It would cut it in half. So it went half turn. And again, it went in the number of orders, or went in the order of the numbers. So it's still going to be clockwise. Okay. All right. Let's go on to the back. You guys are going to go ahead and do the lesson check, just like always. And we're going to go down and do the power review. Okay. It says to write two thirds and three quarters as a pair of fractions with a common denominator. Well, the smallest common denominator between three. And four, well, let's find out. Okay, I'm gonna do fours, four, eight, and 12. Oh, there's 12, okay? So now, two thirds and three quarters. Okay, in order to get three to 12, we had to multiply it by one, two, three, four. So now we need to multiply the top by four. Well, two times four is eight. In order to multiply four to get to 12, we had to multiply it one, two, three times. So now we need to multiply this three by three. Well, three times three is nine. Done. Okay. All right. Raymond bought three quarters of a dozen rolls. How many rolls did he buy? Well, I'm going to go ahead and put them in rows of four. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Okay. Now he bought three quarters. Okay. So how many did he buy? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine rolls. Okay, list all the factors of 18. Well, we would have one times 18. We would have two times nine. And we would have three times six. Done, guys. Okay, Jonathan rode 1.05 miles on Friday, 1.5 miles on Saturday, and 1.25 miles on Monday and 1.1 miles on Tuesday. On which day did he ride the shortest distance, okay? So they all start with one, so one's not gonna help us, okay? Next, we have a zero, 
a two, a five, and a one. Well, that smallest number is 1.05, which would make it Friday. Okay, it says on which day, so Friday. Okay, all right, guys, thanks for hanging out for 11.1. .1. Come on back for 11.2. See you soon.